Okay, so now I'm just going to show the extra stuff that this game has. So you can see this the different costumes. So that's the one I played with for kid mode and the main game because it's like the bare bones one. That one, okay, that does double damage. That one is the only one I think we unlock when we were kids because you're doing kid mode. And that one, so we have to use that one quite a bit. That one makes it you don't run out of weapon. This one is the one I use for the what if mode because it does double damage, runs it does not or on a webbing and he's invincible. This one is cool, it's invisible, so you you can actually turn invisible. I didn't try that. This one is more like a handicap one, you can only have two web characters at a time. That one has no specials. But it's like yeah, the same with that, no specials. This one's also like a kind of a handicap one, you can only have two bells. Same as this one, that's the handicap one. Why does he look, look at it, wow, what the hell? Why does he look so white? Man, he's so pale. So he's a character viewer. Peter Parker's alter ego, I don't even remember the looking that pale. Spider -Man. Spidey's wall crawling and web slinging, combined with his super strength and amazing agility, make old Webhead one of the most spectacular superheroes around. Sounds like he's talking about. Oh, yes. Our mild I forgot that they have. I forgot they had quotes. Sometimes neurotic hero of the game. Peter Parker's I'm going to see if I can get the quotes again. The amazing Spider-Man. Spidey's going to zoom in, zoom out. Web slinging, combined with his super strength and amazing agility. Make old Webhead one of the most spectacular superheroes around. Is he gonna say anything? Of course, Dowie doesn't want to say anything. Maybe you gotta not press anything. Alicia Hardy, also known as the Black Cat, is one of Spidey's few friends who knows his true identity. Are you gonna say something? Hey, spider! It sounds like her nose is, is plugged or something when she says that. Okay. Now reformed, Dr. Otto Octavius is using his scientific knowledge for the good of humanity. Okay, well... Yeah, yeah I guess I'll, it's Eddie Brock. One of Parker's photojournalistic rivals Brock blames Parker for his bad reputation as a reporter. Add one alien symbiote, and you've got venom. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Not too friendly, indeed. <laughs> doesn't he know that crime doesn't pay, especially with Spidey around? This is the Jade Syndicate. I have no idea who the Jade Syndicate are. Old JJ is Peter's boss at the Daily Bugle. Unfortunately, one of his main goals in life is to prove that Spider-Man is a menace to the world rather than a hero. Okay, Scorpion. One of Spidey's most powerful enemies. Scorpion's hatred for Spidey is only overshadowed by his hatred for J. Jonah Jameson, the man he blames for getting him stuck in his armored scorpion suit. Nobody will get here in time to save you, Jonah. Just because that one is just uh, right away, the ones that don't. Caused by the same accident that blinded him in youth, Matt Murdock's extrasensory powers give him all the advantage he needs to fight crime in the seedy underbelly of New York, otherwise known as Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchens. I don't know why I did that. Ah, New York's finest. Okay. Or maybe this is New York's finest. <laughs> Rhino's thick polymer matted suit gives him his extraordinary strength and makes him virtually impervious to physical harm as well as extremely dangerous. Yeah. 
Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, an essential member of the Fantastic Four and also one of Spidey's closest superhero friends. Easily one of Spider-Man's greatest foes of all time, Venom hates Spider-Man so much that he will do almost anything to ruin his life. Where's Venom? <laughs> yep. Leftovers from one of the lizard's sick experiments, these creatures are both powerful and vicious. Be careful, Spidey. <laughs> the lizard, product of a twisted experiment gone wrong. He's actually a, a, one of the bosses in the second game. Ah, Mary Jane, Peter Parker's lovely wife. Symbiotes. These twisted beasts are so vicious, they could only come from one place. Where? Quentin Outer space. Beck, also known as Mysterio, Master of Illusion. Punisher. Frank Castle fights the seedy side of the world as the Punisher with a vigilante-style justice. Revenge Lanty style. This is Spider Man's a vigilante, too. The not so reformed mastermind behind this insidious plot, Doc Ock. A sick and twisted combination. The symbiote offspring of Venom with the serial killer of Cletus Cassidy make what? carnage. One of the deadliest villains of Okay, let's go back a bit. So Venom says so two ninety nine greatest foes of all time. Eddie Brock one of Parker's two ninety nine. So apparently it's saying that Carnage Brock debuted before Venom and Eddie Brock. A sick and twisted That doesn't make any sense. The symbiote offspring of Venom with Yeah, but look at look at the Venom, it says two hundred and ninety nine. Easily one of Spider-Man's greatest... It's, there's no way that's right. Ven the hideously grotesque, super-powered, uh. symbiote Doc Ock. Uh. Captain America. An Avenger and an icon to people everywhere. Yeah, think, uh, Captain America is the definition of a true hero. Yeah, I think Jack Kirby is actually cool creator of Captain America. Uh, uh. The Submariner... He doesn't have any narration, apparently. J. James Jewett. <laughs> J. 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 Yep, okay. Uh, movie view, we don't need to see that. See these comics. Oh, wow, it actually does a bit of an explanation for your sister. Yes, that's Amazing Spider Man 1. I said Amazing Fantasy 15, but I think it's actually Amazing Spider Man number 1 that it shows. On the covers. Maybe Spider Man 200. Uh, Spider Man number one, huh? Maybe Spider Man 25. Oh, it's not, it's not in chronological order. Oh, it's about Daredevil. Okay, that's pretty well known. 400. What? Okay. Obviously, she doesn't stay dead. Parafarker, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is he, that's the symbiote. Although he might have been a spy, an actual spy comic, because I think those like that's chronologically, but not actual like release date wise. Uh, that one's one of the most well-known covers. Along with Spider-Man 300, I don't know if that's going to be on here. The Lizard. 42. 100. 
They go to Spider Man no more. Mysterio. Uh huh. This is the yeah, the one with the Punisher. Who is this? Oh, does that does that some Amazing Spider Man 300? The final chapter, sure. Yeah, okay, yeah, they are Amazing Fantasy 15. That shows. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost sure it's just Amazing Fantasy 15 that shows on. This is the game covers. These ones that they did for the game. Some of these, like, like this one's only one level. This one's like ten levels. Okay. Then storyboards, let's see. Interesting. Is it you can see. Um it's got the entire storyboard. So how many f So yeah. Some of these are shorter than the others. Oh, well, that's all of them, I guess. Okay. Okay. Random set. Okay. Where's right now? Right undefeated. Okay. Rhythm's challenge. Okay. Face off. Oh, the Venom looks a lot different in that than he does in the game. But they actually, like I said, for the PC and Dreamcast versions, they have different models for certain characters, like Venom in particular, and Black Hat. Those are the two I remember most. Okay. Symbiotes. Okay. The imposter. That's what the cutscene's called. Mysterio reveals the plan. Huh. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Monster Arc. And there's the finale. I wonder how many this frames this has. Forty-one. And there we go. That's essentially it for the game. I guess we look at options now. We've already looked at that, didn't we? Gallery. Yeah, that's everything. Thank you for watching.